Hello again, today I'm going to be sharing uh, little details on the Sephora Spring Sale, which is actually starting April 5th, but that does not mean that you can shop. So if you want to hear all the details on the Sephora Sale, is it worth it, and the products that I recommend, then just keep on watching. So as mentioned, April 5th is the beginning of the Sephora Spring Sale. In case you're not familiar with Sephora sales or VIB or very important beauty sales, Basically, there are different tiers and depending on how much you spend throughout the year, that determines like what tier that you are. So Rouge members are the ones that spend the most. You spend over a thousand dollars within the year and that gives you early access to the sales and also you get the most discount, which is 20% off on select items throughout the store. Most items are on sale, but there are some exclusions and I'll mention those in a little bit. The next tier is the VIB. So if you spend $350 um, or below the $1,000 threshold in between there, then you are considered the VIB. You get 15% off um, discount and you get to shop starting April 9th. And then for everybody else, this can be like, even if you haven't spent a dime at Sephora, as long as you sign up for their like rewards program, then you are considered an insider. Again, it's free to join. You don't have to make any purchases. So the insider tier gets 10% discount and they also get to shop on April 9th. So both the VIB and the insider tiers both get to shop April 9th. The sale ends on April 15th. Also, everybody gets 30% off on Sephora collection items. So if you find something in the Sephora collection, you can shop starting on April 5th all the way to April 15th. Just about the whole store is available for the sale. Some exclusions, MAC products are not included in the sale. Viva Glam products are also excluded from the sale as well as The Ordinary. That's also excluded from the sale, which is like there, it's already very affordable. So, I mean, you're not missing out on much. There are also limitations. So you can only get one Dyson, it's limited to one. And the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, you're limited to three of those. So, I mean, you really just need one. You really only just need one. I don't know who needs three concealers. Honestly, like I found a way better concealer that is so much cheaper than e.l.f., but that is like another video for another day. So now my personal opinion on whether the Sephora Spring Cell is even worth it. And my answer is, it depends. If you are a Rouge member, Clearly you are very much into beauty products if you are spending over a thousand dollars within the year. In that case, I feel like 20% off on some products throughout the store is warranted. That's a pretty good discount. But for the rest of us who have not spent a thousand dollars in beauty products throughout the year, I just don't think that 15 or 10% is that big of a discount, especially when there are so many brands who offer their own sales and incentives throughout the year that are a lot better than a 10% discount. For example, Charlotte Tilbury is one of my favorite brands. I absolutely love it. This is one of my latest additions, which is the Airbrush Flawless Filter Powder. And I absolutely love it, especially for us oily skin girls. This does an amazing job at just keeping me matte. But again, I'm only considered an insider, so 10% discount on this is just not worth it for me, especially when I have my own promo code that I will go ahead and link down below for you where you can get 15% off at charlottetilbury.com. So if you wanna get in on that savings, and of course this code is great like year round, just go ahead and get that promo code down below and I'll also leave the link for you to shop there. Another hot seller that is actually one of Sephora's best sellers, but I don't recommend purchasing even during the sale is Vegamore products. I've been a subscriber for Vegamore for probably three, four years now so I actually have this on subscription you don't have to have it on a subscription that it's like every single month like I go through this like maybe every two to three months so I have my subscription three months out so what I pay is $47 as opposed to the 60 something price tag that you would spend at Sephora so even with a 20% discount I don't think that it is worth it I feel like if you just get the subscription on vegamore.com also, if you go to Vegamore, there is already like a 20% off promo code for you to purchase any of their products. So again, if you are a VIB or inside, I just don't feel like it's worth it. So definitely skip that. Another product in skincare that I would not recommend is anything Peter Thomas Roth, just because right now Walmart has like this major sale. It's been going on for a long time. I don't, it's not in particularly like a sale. They're just like really discounted for Peter Thomas Roth products. So one of the products specifically that I just saw online was the 
eye mask that I actually use from the same line as this water drench moisturizer. So the eye patches are $55. They actually have them at Walmart for like $39. It's over 20% off. So in that case, I would recommend, you know, buying them from Walmart. One way that you can kind of justify purchasing it from Sephora is if you are trying to get to that upper level or the other tiers. So obviously any purchases that, that you make during the sale would go into you like your annual allotted amount that you need to spend in order to climb up the tiers. So. If that's the reason that you're purchasing from it, I think it's okay. But if you're just specifically thinking that you're getting a deal, I feel like there's so many other places that you can shop and get the same, if not better deal. That makes sense. Some products that I would recommend getting just because I personally don't see them going on sale very often. One of my new favorite hair items is this one from Living Proof. This is the Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean dry shampoo. So I actually purchased this from Ulta, uh, but they have it at Sephora and this one is so good. I absolutely love it. It leaves my hair feeling so nice and clean. It's smelling good and it's not sticky or tacky like the IGK one. And sometimes they will have a sale, but they're very sporadic. I personally don't see them on sale all the time. So living proof items, I would say yes, like go ahead and get that on sale if you can get it. Even if it's 10% off, at least it's better than like nothing, right? Another item is Saint Tropez. Any self tanning products, especially us going into the warmer months, if you're gonna be taking vacation, I would definitely go ahead and get yourself the discounted price for tanning products. So this one's one that I use. It's the Saint Tropez Self Tan Purity Facial Mist. And I love this because it's very subtle and it is buildable, but it's like the lightest mist. So after I do my skincare in the morning, I would just mist this on. I actually haven't used this in like a couple of days. So I feel like I'm like really, really pale here. Um, but this does give you like a very nice natural glow. And again, because it is a mist, there is like, it's kind of foolproof. So this I would definitely recommend you getting. Another popular item on the Sephora bestsellers is Glow Recipe. So Glow Recipe is another one that I haven't checked the website. Most often than not, anytime you go to the websites, you're able to see like, they'll give you like 10, 15% off if you sign up for like their newsletters. So if you, again, if you're an insider and you're only getting 10% and you want to get a bigger discount, definitely try to check out the brand websites and see if they have some sort of perk um, for like your initial purchase or anything like that. But if you want to buy them at Sephora, I don't see these go on sale very often. So definitely I would splurge on the glow recipe. And honestly, like the products are really, really good. I've also tried the avocado, um, serum and it's amazing. I love this sunscreen. Obviously it's empty, so I need to get some more, but the glow recipe products are really, really good. Another item I would recommend is Laura Mercier products. I have this tinted moisturizer. So this tinted moisturizer is really great for, if you're looking for something that is like a little bit more on the sheer side, you don't want full blown foundation. Now, on the site, they don't, I don't see any sort of like discount. The only thing is for students and teachers, there is a 20% off discount, but you have to be verified. So you can do that. Or again, if you want to rack up those purchasing dollars at Sephora, so you can move up the tiers, you can definitely just purchase them at Sephora. So if you're not a student or a teacher, I mean, I would definitely purchase this during the Sephora sale, um, just because I don't really see Laura Mercier going on sale. So that would be worth it. Another thing that I think is worth purchasing during the Sephora sale is perfumes because perfumes hardly ever go on sale. So like my uh, Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt is one of my favorites. And as you can see, like it is down uh, to the last drops. So definitely perfumes, I would say, go ahead and splurge on as well as hot tools. Although the single pass um, curling iron is one of the best sellers for Sephora and I have it and I love it. Uh, but again, T3 also has very frequent sales going on. So it just really depends if it's something that you just want right now and you wanna like go to your nearest Sephora and purchase, go do that. Or if you are a little more patient, I'm sure T3 will have a sale coming up soon they usually have like a 25 to 30 percent off discount for like a friend's family sale so you just have to get on their email list and they'll notify you whenever there is a sale but there you have it those are my recommendations for the sephora spring sale i always get a big sale with vib sale the sales event whatever um, so again the sale does start on april 5th again this is for rouge members it goes all the way to 
April 15th. If you're a VIB or insider, you can start shopping April 9th. Um, and that's really all I have for you. Go ahead and let me know in the comments which is your favorite Sephora product and what is something that it does not matter if there's a sale or not, you're gonna buy. I'd love to know. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and we'll chat soon. Bye.